What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you the best way to customize and paint the sock liner of your shoes. And I say it's the best way because if you don't use this method, you will eventually get some cracking and flaking in the sock liner. So from here you can tell I, this was a blue sock liner. I painted it all black on this side. So today I'm going to go ahead and do it on this shoe and show you how it's done. First you'll need GAC 900. You can pick this up at most arts and crafts stores. I got this at Michael's for around $10. Next you'll need Angelus paint of your choice. Right here I'm using flat black. You also need some sort of empty container. Uh, this is a one ounce mixing jar I got from AngelusDirect.com. You'll also need a paintbrush and something skinny to, to mix the paint with. Right here I'm just using the, the other end of an old paintbrush. And finally you're going to need a heat gun. I got this heat gun for, I think it was $25 on Amazon.com, and it works really well. It's not too loud either. All right, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is fill your mixing jar about halfway with the paint of your choice. Here I'm using flat black. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it, fill to the middle of the jar. That looks about right. Next, take your GAC 900, open the cap. You want to pour in a little bit at a time and start stirring. Pour in about that much. Stir it a little bit. Pour in a little more. So right here I'm doing about half an ounce of paint to half an ounce of GAC 900. Uh, if you read the directions on the bottle, it says to use a one-to-one -one ratio. So that's what I'm doing here. All right, once that's done, you're ready to paint. Get your paintbrush, get your shoe. Let me show you what I'm working on actually. This was a Nike SB High. It was all like squadron blue and I'm turning it into a bread one custom just like this. So the sock liner used to be blue, tongue used to be blue. That's what I use this GAC 900 and flat black mix for. Looking pretty clean. All right, first thing you wanna do is remove the shoelaces. I've already done that. Pull the tongue back and just start painting. It's probably going to take about two to three light coats of paint. Uh, it looks like I'm pretty much done with the first coat. I'm going to go ahead and let it sit for about three to four minutes, and I'm going to hit it with another coat. All right, guys, so after you've done your two or three layers, you want to make sure it's dry to the touch before you start heat setting it with a heat gun. Uh, to test this, pretty much just take your finger, run it across the sock liner. If it transfers to your finger like that, then it's not dry yet. Go ahead and wait for another probably 15, 20 minutes. All right, guys, it should be dry to the touch now. Test it one more time. No transfer. So we're good to start heat setting with a heat gun. A uh, little trick I like to do is to pull the tongue forward. Just take an old skinny toothbrush, stick it through the eyelids, through both sides, and that way the tongue will fall all the way back. So take your heat gun. You're going to want to heat set the sock liner for about three to five minutes. Uh, pretty much you could start on low and move on to high. And don't get too close to the sock liner, otherwise you can burn it. It'll start ripping and tearing. So, get started. 
Now some of you guys might be wondering, do I have to use a heat gun? And the answer is yes. The heat gun is used to activate the product. It has to hit a certain number of degrees, which I think is around 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you don't use a heat gun, you might as well just use paint straight up. So that's pretty much it guys. This will help keep your sock liner nice and soft and won't get all stiff and start to flake. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you thought it was helpful, go ahead and subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming for you. Alright guys, later.